Welcome, Hi. Finesse. Hi, thanks for yeah. having me. I was watching you and Rob's Eye in there performing there, and obviously I didn't know anything about you. I knew <laughs> Rob's Eye. But the collaboration that the two of you have, could you expand on it and tell me from a musical point of view, Thank how you. do you get together? Well, prior to me meeting Rob, we both had separate careers. Of course, Rob's was like way longer than mine. Um, I was an independent artist. I'd worked with um, quite a few bands on the cruise ship and what have you as a vocalist. And uh, he had two of my past band members in a new band that no he formed. Way. And those were two guys that I loved working with. And one of them recommended me to him as he was looking for a vocalist. I remember going into the into his studio and I was like, what am I gonna sing? Cause you know, whenever somebody asks a singer to sing a song, we just forget automatically every song that we know. So I went in there and turns out I didn't even have to sing. We just had conversations about what music means to us and what we wanted to do as musicians and how serious we take our role as artists, right? And so, um, yeah, it was just a conversation and I started off with this band. And one day I was like, can I, can I just come with you on one of your solo gigs? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to try it out. And we did that, and we've not stopped since then. It's just so been... Five years? Yes. Six years, it's actually. Six, oh, sorry, mm -hmm. six years. Yes. So you started out as a vocalist, but now you write as well. I write, and mm -hmm. I also play the guitar currently. I'm, I'm, I'm not a professional you're, you're yet. A fully, but you're a and I also dabble in production, my own production. <laughs> so I, I, was, I was listening to you, and you have quite a flexible way, way of singing, you can sing jazz, you can sing yes. reggae, you can, so where did you inherit? I or? have never taken classes, it's something that I wanted to do, I want to do voice training, but I feel like it will take away from my natural ability to sing. I listen to a lot of trained the vocalists and sometimes they just don't sound like they're feeling what they're singing. They just sound like they're trying to get right notes. I have this thing that I say genuineness over perfection mm -hmm. because Same. I think that how you people being able to relate to you is much more important than coming out perfect. Because perfection can, people wanting to aspire to be perfect, it can be intimidating. It can be annoying as well. Yes, so I believe in just being real, being me. Even when I sing on stage and Effortless. and my I would hear a crack in my voice, sometimes I'd be like, well, that kind of added some into the song. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, so. Because I was watching you guys, um, you know, just briefly there while, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, I remember watching Rob Zai, few years ago mm -hmm. and the two of you just fit together like hand in glove so <laughs> thank to you sing. and and uh, your, your style go together very very well thank so you do you when you when you before you perform obviously you practice the, both of you practice a lot or? i have to i have to actually say not really <laughs> It's just, Rob, Rob Zai describes it as a natural progression of things because we have not, in fact, generally, I would say with any band that I've worked with, seldom practice. It's always about you get into your feeling, you get into your soul as a musician and you pay attention to the message that you want delivered and how you want people to feel when they listen to you. And I think Rob Zai and I have that in common. So sometimes I think... I, when you saw me perform, I did this song that I'd never done before because you somebody said, requested said, it. Yeah, and I just happened to have, if I like a song, I have the music, I keep the music with me. And somebody requested a song that I never would imagine anybody requesting. And then I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. Sometimes I do it a cappella if I don't have the, the music to it. But that's how it works for Obzai and I. Sometimes we're at a gig and then we're like, let's try this song. Like at our performance last night, we just did a number of songs that we've never done before. Oh, you <laughs> yes, we, we just did something that we've never done before. And I, you don't get very often people that you could flow with like that. So that's why I think our bond as musicians is very genuine and strong. And it's one that I appreciate very much. Yeah, because I was, I was watching you, just going back to the, together. And I saw that, that as the Jamaicans would say, that mesh, you know, <laughs> and you can't, if you're working with anyone, even in a band, mm -hmm. if you're not together, it shows. Yes. But with you two, it, it was effortless. Thank yeah, you. So I, you know, I want to compliment. So w now that you've been working collaboration for five years, mm -hmm. how do you see yourself? Like I asked, I'm asking you okay. the same question. Well, you for me, musically, I had never, I wanted to be 
what every little girl would say, a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> However, it's more than that for me now. I am very much interested in reaching people through my music and using my music to reach people in other ways. Yeah, so working with Rob Zai, that's another thing we have in common. We want to be more than just singers or people you aspire to be because of maybe you like to sing or maybe the way we dress. We wanted to have a deeper attraction to people, a deeper level of inspiration. So I would like us to continue making positive music. It's very important to me yes. that my lyrics are always positive. I've had people approach me with, hey, I, I wrote a song for you. I am, and I sing it or I listen to the lyrics and I'm like, no. And I would recommend the better, another singer that I think would sing it. But I'm like, that's not, that's not in alignment with who I am as a person. So I'm not singing to get attention. I'm singing because I want to use my talent. So to make to a difference. Yes, I want to. Your own individual music. Yeah, I prefer when Rob Zai and I write songs yes. together because we, we write from our experiences and at the same time, not from a negative perspective. It's important to me, something bad can happen to you, but you can write, write in a way that you're advising yourself how to deal with that situation and automatically you're advising somebody else who might be in that situation like and how song, to deal with it. Up. Yes. I was listening to you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that, that must come to experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. another thing I love. Uh, I listened to, before I met Rob Zai, mm -hmm. I will tell you that I also was guilty of considering him a jazz musician. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we started working together, I actually love, love, love. His, we've turned a, quite a few yeah. of his songs into duets. And I love the messages in his songs. Yeah. I think really that Every single song that I've heard of his, I'm not being biased at all. Yes. I think that they all can be re, like reintroduced, mm -hmm. not production-wise or anything, just reintroduced, re-released, because the messages will always be relevant in those songs. The stories they tell, my favorite song of his is Now's the Time, because it just, it we hadn't. He did suggest it, so my bad. I was like, remember we were arguing, we were like on stage, yeah, yeah. Rob is like, whatever song she says is what we're doing. <laughs> so, so Now's the Time is my favorite song of his because it's one of those songs, if you haven't listened, you should. It just, it's a fusion of reggae and dance pop. Wow. And it's just that song that makes you just want to get up and, and go. And I believe that my writing has changed because of me listening to his songs. Like they're always so philo philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I think that that's another way it's impacted yeah, me. That's very deep in music when you, when you, when you write. Uh, yes. Because people, it's almost like composing mm -hmm. in depth, isn't it? It's not just something that you just yeah. get up and do. It's just not like, just about rhyming. No, a lot no. of people, and not all no. of his songs rhyme, but they make a lot of sense when you listen to it. Writing is supposed to... When you listen to a song, when I listen to a song, in addition to listening to the instruments, it's important that I like the message of the song. I have to, I have to appreciate the message even more than I do the instruments around it. The message would make me fall in love with everything else automatically. Well, maybe that's why you have the name Finesse. It goes. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't help that. Uh, everybody, people say it all the time. Yes. But I should tell you that that was not my original name. I've never said that okay. on a camera before. And Rob Zai, if he's listening to it, would probably be like, I can't believe she's saying that. I want to tell you why I changed it. Yes, because I believe that I came from a certain place in my life where I felt like my direction was directed by people around me and not myself. So it was important to me that when I, I changed my name, my first name is Finesse, my last name George Wilson is my mom and dad's last name. I was, it was my way of reinventing myself because of how I acknowledged my growth as a, as a woman, as a female. And it was m my new beginning. And I was like, this is where I set the rules of my life and this is where I make my happiness a priority and my spirituality a priority. That is very, so apt and so... And this name, <laughs> this name was given to me by the very first producer I worked with, Randall Hille. I was 17 and I remember he presented to me a CD with instrumentals and he's like, write to it. So I wrote like 14 tracks in like one day, like 14 tracks. So I have an unreleased album. And he was like, look how you just finessed. That's your name, Finesse. He just stopped. That's your name, Finesse. And I didn't get it at first. I was like, okay. And he started calling me that forever. Everybody, would call, everybody calls me that now. And then that's why I was like, okay, this name is a name that I could relate to because it was 
bestowed upon me bestowed. by someone who saw yes. my musical side and was appreciative of that. And music is my reason for being here, really. So what name would you be for the reinvention of yourself? You still? No, my previous name so, was simple. It was just Tessa. Okay. Finesse is my new meaning. So, pseudonym name. <laughs> It's my real name, that's my legal name now. I changed it legally, yes. So, so it seems from the name, you, you've carved something out still from the name. Because even with Rob's Eye Destiny, that is something that even goes with mm -hmm. the finesse from what I'm seeing. Because the both of you are looking into your future and it's carving out your future. Mm -hmm. I think those two words stand out straight away to me even, even now. Thank you. Know? you. So, <laughs> I didn't think so, of it that so way. Just Going on a bit, you play the guitar. I mean, I, I start, and that was also inspired by. I never wanted to be just a singer. I I dabble in dancing. I, I draw. I I do a lot of things. Artist. I love the arts. Yes. If I were not a singer, I'd probably be a dancer or I'd be an actress. I also did a bit of acting. We had this local soap opera. Why can't I remember the name? Island Secrets. Okay. And I was the first. Um, part of the first cast. I had to stop obviously because of work, but then that was something I'm very passionate about as well. So that's why on stage we see that theatrical side. But it's really well. not. It's just me being myself. <laughs> being that an artist. Yeah, you know, it's just me, things. yes. So there's a lot of strings to your bow. I mean, you one cannot pinpoint any one thing. Mm -hmm. And going in the future, I mean, you can see yourself. Do you still see, obviously you must see yourself with Rob Zahn and yes. features mm -hmm. internationally. I, that's what I see. I see us doing music, continuing to make positive music, and I like to highlight positive music. <laughs> music that's uplifting, traveling the world doing that. It doesn't have to be to sold out arenas. It could no, just be to a club or a pub, or even when we went to New York, we did, uh, we did busking in Central Park, and that was so fulfilling yes. for me because that's the most fulfilling thing you could do, really, because random people would mm -hmm. stop from all different backgrounds and appreciate what you're doing, and that was, you get their attention. They would stay on their entire lunch break to listen Listening. to you sing. <laughs> that was, it must have been new for you as well. It but was, it really was. So people don't do it here, they don't do it here. No, the if you did that here, they'd yeah. be like, what's wrong? Yeah. That's the difference, <laughs> yes. though, isn't it? Yes, and when you do that, you get an appreciation for people generally. Now I see a lady in the boulevard singing, and I would listen to her. There's a lady with a guitar, actually, by the Central Library, and I would listen to her. Some people, I just walk along, because they do it just because, but others I listen to because there's a message in their song. And the guitar, how long have you been playing? I had started the guitar and in... Who introduced you to playing? To playing the guitar? I would say I was inspired by a, a bandmate that, that I met in Rob's Eyes band, The Black Sheep, Dwight. I had a conversation with him. I still ask him for a little yeah. advice and if every, every now and then. I'm not a professional yet, I will say. But what really inspired me to get into the guitar was working with Rob Zai. Like, as a, when you perform all the time, all I had to use was my voice. And he had his saxophone, so let's say he got a little cough or a cold or something. He could like play his way through, he still would come to work. But for me, it was just my voice. And I'm like, I need to be more than just a singer. I need to be an instrument. I want to play an instrument. I want to, um, I want to set up. I, I do everything. I set up for the gigs. I break down. I, I can do everything. <laughs> yeah, I do everything. DJ he taught me well. to do all of that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, he taught me to do all of that. So um, I started practicing first the keyboard when I was in secondary school. I would I played the keyboard, but the guitar, I would say, was as much as I looked at Dwight, Dwight's playing, Rob made me want to play an instrument because of how passionate I see he play his instrument. He plays his instrument with so much passion. Well, I can definitely say, Finesse, mm -hmm. that you know you have brought passion. Lots, <laughs> uh, Thank you. Both of you together, and I wish you all the best, the two of you together. Thank you very you much. All the best. It's a pleasure. And thanks Thank for you. having me.